We are in the final days of what has been a roller coaster of a campaign, dogged by allegations that some candidates are breaking the rules. Well, in York Center, at least one candidate is fed up because every time she posts signs on this public lawn, they go missing. The latest incident was caught on camera. Who told you to take down these signs? Now I call. Who told you to take them down? Oh, very bad. Who, Who told you to take them down? Who told you to take down the signs? Well, broken on the ground, some packed into this white van. For the fourth time, York Center candidate Louise Rousseau's signs were removed from this public lawn at the corner of Keel and Shepherd. But this time, her husband, Sam Rousseau, caught the thieves in action. Who told you to take down the signs? Turns out he wouldn't get a straight answer. Didn't really offer an explanation, just continued to throw the sign into the vehicle. So today they're back at it, replacing the signs once again. It's it's not fair, you know, I mean, they, it's disheartening, it really is. The lawn is located in front of her opponent's campaign office, and incumbent Maria Ajumeri's signs are the only ones that remain standing. Even incumbent James Pasternak's team was back today to replace missing signs. Well, overall, we've got to do the same work twice again, and some are assigned because they all cost money as well. We have to spend some time going over the same area. So resources and time being wasted. It's also against Election Canada's campaign rules and against the law. Hi, how are you? We asked Audra Mary's team in the office if they had any idea what was going on. They put us on the phone with her campaign manager. At the end of the day, it's probably property management. But why are they only removing? I think they're removing everyone who's not a tenant there. So you believe it's because you guys are a tenant? Well, it's, it's public space, though. I don't know. That's a question for property management. I just want it to be a fair campaign. Running against two incumbents in this race, Russo is already facing a tough battle. She decided to throw her hat in the ring to curb gun violence in the city after surviving a drive-by shooting in 2004. Caught in the crossfire, a bullet severed her spine, leaving her paralyzed from the waist down. These elections, not what she expected. It's been frustrating as we don't have the budget, obviously, and uh, not a, a large manpower as the incumbents do. So we're doing the best we can with it. But seeing the hard work of our volunteers being taken, our signs being taken down, our pamphlets being removed from the mailboxes, it's not right. We did ask to speak with Maria Ajamari, but her campaign manager declined, saying again that her campaign has nothing to do with the missing signs. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.